Team Let me tell you something right now. This is going to be, um, this is actually a really cool moment for me. Free, you are one of my favorite MCs, Free. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate the love, man. It's crazy. You were like, uh, definitely the backdrop to some really good years for me. I remember when, you know, the whole state property thing was popping and, and rock was all over the place. I mean, I, we took this one road trip to Florida while I was in college and we'd run them tracks like from Freeway. Uh, Philadelphia Freeway back and I, I remember every time a Freeway song came on from whatever you know of your catalog everyone in the car got the most hype during your verses and I think that was something really unique about you because you brought a level of hype to uh, the sound of hip-hop that you were doing I mean have you heard that before from people yeah man that, thanks a lot man it means a lot to me you know because I really work hard at what I do and just to, to get the love from the people and people 10 years later, 12 years later, I'm still here doing it, you know what I'm saying? People still showing me love. So it's good. Man. Think it are the most three things most surprising things to you right now that you're like damn I didn't see that coming three biggest surprises about the music industry right now the tight jeans the lack of content and the lack of content then that's a double for the lack of time at content uh, could you expound on the lack of content how you feel about that I mean it's just me like me per how personally how I feel about music when I listen to it I want to get something out of it a feeling, you know what I'm saying, or if it's not a feeling that I get, maybe it's something that I could take with me, you know what I'm saying, or something, or even if it's just some game, or if it's some new slang or something, or something that I can incorporate into my life, you know what I'm saying, and it's just hard to get that right nowadays. Absolutely, so um, are we going to get that from your new project right now? Oh, most definitely, I got the new project getting ready to drop, Freedom of Speech, it's sponsored by Karma Loop Music, and it's sponsored by Rocksmith, and it's definitely full of that from beginning to end, trust me. Are there any formal agreements with you uh, and, and Karma Loop at, the po at this moment? Well, basically, I'm totally independent, but um, I did some work with Karma Loop before, and um, I support the brand, and the brand supports me, so that's how we rocking out. You started uh, going the independent route with Free At Last, am I correct? No, actually, Free At Last was on Rockefeller. That was the last Rockefeller. And then, um, you know, the whole breakup thing and everything happened, and I had a choice. I could keep doing albums on Def Jam or I can get out my contract and try some independent stuff and that's what I did. Now besides the obvious in terms of you know entitlement and money um, what's the biggest difference from a creative standpoint that you feel uh, being an independent artist rather than being linked to somebody? Well see for me as far as the creative control when I was on a rock they let me do what I they, I'm still doing the same thing like I'm still creative Control, creatively controlling my music, you know what I'm saying? Because like Jay and Damon, they let us do us, and at the end we would go through everything. But it wasn't like they'd be like, "Oh, you gotta make this certain kind of record, or you gotta do this." So, as far as creativity is, it's still basically the same. But the main difference is I'm, I'm my own boss now. Like I have my own business. I'm running my business, you know what I'm saying? And it just feels good, you know. That's what Jay and them did when they started Rockefeller. That was their business, and they're running their business. And that's what I'm doing with Team Early. Now, not everybody is built for that, though. You know, a lot of cats want to go independent and, and run their own show. But, I mean, what do you think you as a person uh, makes you so built for being independent and running, you know, at full steam? I mean, I, j I just have faith in myself and I have faith in what I'm doing. And I got a good team with me. Mm -hmm. I got a small circle, but it's good people. You know what I'm saying? And we genuinely care about each other beyond the music. You know what I'm saying? So we work good together. Do you think the... Uh the, the people that came before the new MCs right now are doing a good enough job of giving back and, and giving people the foundations of what it is to be an MC. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't. I think a lot of MCs just worry about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Once you, once you get on, they just be worrying about trying to do whatever they could do to take care of themselves. So, 
I commend I commend them for what they doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to MTM Group. You know that's the promoters that brought me out here, put the whole thing together, and it's it's good, man. I respect the mic is definitely going down. It's it's like a form of just giving back. You know what I'm saying? If you got some knowledge and you know how to do certain things, then why not teach the people instead of letting them bump their head? You know. I've heard some conversations where people say that uh, being an MC is not so much more relevant anymore, where it's more of just being like a, a marketable product. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think probably being a hot lyricist, I think it's probably like 30% of it now. Wow. 30, 40%. That's just, that's whack to me. <laughs> I mean, it's sad that it's that way, but I, I, because I, I'm one of those cats who really appreciated a hot line. They're like, yo, you run it back, and you're like, did he just say there's that? People that? There's people that's keeping it alive, though. Yeah. And like, even on different levels, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got, you got like Wayne and Drake, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's hip hop. Yeah. Like some people might not think it's, it's hip hop because it's on a mainstream level, but them niggas got hot lines, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel them. Mm -hmm. Then you got new MCs that's coming up that's just doing their own thing and coming with something totally different to the table, like like Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying? Like his, his creativity is crazy. Like some of the joints on that on that um that project that he put out is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Made me wanna go back in the lab, like, okay. One of the most respected, never been neglected, best beard, check it. Freeman of Speech is on the way, go get the record.